I think is really good because we kind of get to self-teach ourselves, but at the same time, the teachers help. And I think when you come in, our classroom looks fun, but um, you get a lot done. Some of the laptops. We have like certain programs for like math and reading and we can get on them and like we can like practice our math like anytime like if we don't have anything else to do we can get on our laptops and just go to that math program and then we can do that. And we like create things. Yeah, um, in the discovery classroom um, we have to be more responsible and so I think responsibility was a challenge. Well, this year, since we have computers, and last year we didn't, we're very, we have to be very responsible about our computers. Um, and then one uh, thing that last year we were responsible for, and this year we aren't, in the discovery room, we don't have homework, but last year we had homework, and that's different. <laughs> different expectations because we have like different furniture and stuff because last year we just had desks and now we have like hockey stools and booths and um pews and futons and stuff so there's expectations with that and the computer whenever you walk in you think it's going to be kind of crazy and wild um but whenever you actually get into learning you actually learn a lot more than you think you would because um, whenever you think it's crazy, you kind and then you actually do it. It's kind of weird how you like, like how it kind of blows your mind. I uh, um, really enjoyed um, learning about ratios. Well, in our discovery, we get to work on our own pace and we get to work on our own level. But in the traditional legacy model, we have to work on the. Uh, the exact same standards as the grade you're in. Yeah, I think, I like that I can work on the level that I am and not have to do stuff that I already know. Okay, my favorite part of um, the Discovery Classroom would have to be that we can use um, computers because I thought that, that was really cool and um, like the traditional way where we, we um, use pencils and paper, I mean, like, I mean, after a while, like you just throw away that paper and it's just something that you've done. On the computer, you can save everything you've done. So if you need help, you can just look back or it's just, it's a lot easier than what we used to be doing. Well, my favorite part about it is like pretty much the computers too and like the way we do stuff. But we usually, we mostly use computers because like we can, all the teachers can post things and we just have to go to that website. And it's a lot easier than just having to do it on a piece of paper because you can type it. We both really think the computers are the best part. <laughs> Whenever I used to do tests and stuff, I always used to get stressed because, um, and now, it's like I can just be relaxed and I don't really, I can just be really relaxed. I think it has a difference because by like our voice level, because like whenever you see that, you don't really think classroom, you more think hangout, like you said. So I kind of think it more, and with all the seating areas, you can kind of choose who you want to sit by. So I think that kind of influences talking and stuff like that. I think it teaches us more maturity because you have to pick where you sit and make sure it's a good choice and that it's going to be a spot that you can get your work done and not be talking the whole time. I like that we get to pick what we want to learn at a certain time that we want to learn it. Um, I have on front row, I have some articles that I want to pick and I uh, picked some Walt Disney ones and I got to pick some games, games and all sorts of articles, something about the article or in the article. Well, since we have computers, we have a lot more ways to learn. And so I like having um, or being able to um, choose how I Well, since we're in discovery, there's a lot of people in our class. And last year, there weren't a whole lot of people in our class. Yeah. So we're kind of adjusting to that, too. Um, something I think that had to be really adjustable was definitely how big Discovery is because it's like third, fourth, fifth, everybody's in it. 
And I really think it's just, it's hard to get adjusted to so many people. And really in discovery, most people aren't even doing really what you're doing. So you kind of have to get everybody caught up with all that. And really it's more like the kids helping kids kind of thing. So that had to be adjusted to where the teachers didn't help out all the time. So I really think that just all that was a little, you know, hard to get adjusted to, but it was really fun what you did. It would be uh, like, if someone's talking, like you either have the choice, you need to move to get your work done, or you can just stay there and talk, cannot get your work done and stay in a recess and do it. Mine would probably be kind of how we do have more freedom. Like if we don't, like if we want to stay in at recess and work on something, we have more freedom to choose to do that than rather to have to like ask and get like special permission. Okay, all right. What else, can y'all think of anything else you think that people would want to know about your classroom and what you're doing at these inside your classrooms? Um, we do a lot of projects. We do a lot more projects than we do in Legacy. Like we've done a lemonade stand and a car wash, which is part of entrepreneurs, how we were learning out then. And um, um, we have, we're not really working on like a certain project. But, um, uh, we have done, um, I know we've done one project, two projects. We've done, uh, we have a garden, so we've had to take care of that. And then uh, we did the Rotary Club. Okay. All right. Very good. And um, what about what about some things you are working on? Y'all got at Calvert, are y'all working on some projects there? Yes, actually, um, we at our school we're actually doing a thing that you would do in middle school. We are running for class president, and we're both candidates. Um, yeah, we're di we're in different classes. Like each class is gonna have their own candidate. So. Um, what we're doing with it is we're coming up with ideas for um, like campaigns and like activities for our school to make it better. So um, like anything, we're going to compare uh, Kentucky issues and school issues and like see what we have in common and we're going to try to fix it and work yeah. with it. We can come up with our own ideas for any events too, like just anything like that. Very good. What about South Marshall Elementary, Keegan and Abby? What do you feel about this multi-age with third, fourth, and fifth graders together? Um, I I like it because um, usually like uh, you if you and a friend are on the same standard and you can work together on something. And then like, if there's someone who needs help who's on a lower standard, you can help them with that and usually you can't do that. So if you and a friend, even if you're not in the same grade, but you're on the same standard, you can work together? Yeah, if we're in the same group. Same group, like, and it doesn't matter what grade you're in, right? No, what about Jonathan? What have y'all done? Y'all have got, you've got a third grader and what? two fourth graders or a fourth grader and two fifth graders in this group right here. Is that right? Two yeah. fourth graders. Two One fourth graders. Grader. Okay. So what do y'all think about being all bunched together this year? I think it's more of a better experience because um, it's kind, it's like if you have a friend in some, you can be with them and also you can be on, it really don't matter because you can be on what you like. You can be on what you need to be on. I think that that's like better for everyone because if um, there's only one teacher in the classroom and if let's say you need help, you and let's say that there's a line for a, for someone, for other people to help them, you can just go to the other teacher because um, you have more than just one teacher, so you have more than one person to ask for help. I like what um, their idea about that it's, that could be a line of other people, but we, the kids can be in like a, um, a grade level in their own and they can be working with that teacher and I can be working with one teacher in another group and I can, and then another group can be with another teacher and another group, you know. Bye. Bye.